Welcome back to ABC 74. I'm Mark Ross. If spicy or fatty foods don't agree with your tummy or maybe you tend to overeat, you could develop GERD. Well, what is GERD? Our medical contributor, Dr. Okachika Alozi with Sunset West Health is here to explain. First off, GERD is an abbreviation for gastroesophageal reflux disease. It's a mouthful. There <laughs> it is. A terrible way to put that. <laughs> but I think one of the things about GERD is it essentially is when the food in your stomach after you swallow comes back up. It can be called reflux, heartburn, gastritis. I think one of the things about the symptom complex of GERD is we don't know whether sometimes it's an ulcer, whether it's gastritis, which is just inflammation, or the food's coming back up. It gets worse when you smoke, if overweight, and we're going to talk about some ways that you can adapt it, change it, and make it better. And with the holidays fast approaching, the last thing you want to deal with is something like GERD. Yeah, probably the worst time of the year around GERD, right? People often talk about, I gained 10 to 15 pounds during the holidays, those ember months, October to January. Fat foods, spicy foods, fried foods, you got to recognize what triggers you. With me, it was always spicy food. As a Nigerian, we eat a lot of peppers and chiles. I love habaneros, toriados, and so that was my issue. And I'm a big layer downer. And so if you do all those things, you're a lot more likely to experience GERD. So then what do we do to keep GERD from becoming an unwanted holiday guest? I mean, it's the same thing we talk about a lot is avoid, right? Mm -hmm. And a lot of times people don't like, hey, don't tell me what not to do, but at least know what causes it and slow it down. Eat less of the spicy foods. Eat slowly. Like I talked about, I, as a kid, I always used to lay down and eat. My mom hated it. Don't do that, right? Yeah. Once you get horizontal, it allows the food to go back. And if you meet with a physician or a clinician and they say take medications, take the medications. Go through the process of treating GERD. It starts with seeing your doctor. Right? Yeah, so I think that consultation is not just consultation with a clinician. It's introspective consultation, right? You understanding this isn't right. I'm getting this burning. It's waking me up in the middle of the night. Potentially, you're losing weight. It's so bad. Think about changing how you eat. We talked about it, the diet and the spices and all the rest. You may need medications. You may need to get to surgery, but these are some of the over-the-counter medications that are out there. All right. Now, if medicines don't work, is there a surgical option? Yeah, so I love data, and so I really like this slide because <laughs> we get to compare medical to surgery. Walk it through it really quickly. This is a 2019 study, New England Journal of Medicine, 78 persons that had heartburn or GERD that was not working with medications. They put some on a certain amount of medications, the placebo plus some meprazole, the middle group got baclofen, which actually slows down your digestion and motility, plus um, omeprazole, and some did surgery. You can see right there, those that had at least a 50% improvement in their GERD was primarily in the surgical arm. I'm not saying that everybody should run out and get surgery, but if you get to that point where diet's not working, medication's not working, you may need to get to surgery eventually. Avoid surgery when you can. And, and that uh, uh, last option, I guess, <laughs> exactly. Surgery. Exactly. Okay. Finally, we got some local resources to turn to. Yeah, there's a bunch of them here. So obviously all of the hospitals have gastroenterologists that work with them. I like to sh give a shout out to the little guys once in a while. So that's Rio Grande Gastro Care, um, GI Consult Endoscopy, El Paso Center for GI Endoscopy, and El Paso Gastroenterology Consultants. Long and short here is that lots of places you can go. The sort of gatekeeper to this is going to your primary care. Talk to your primary care, understand what you need to do, and again, get a referral if you need it. Bottom line, don't overeat during the holidays. I think that's the hard part. <laughs> it's easier said than done. Man. That's right. Deal. For the fat kid who loves cake, <laughs> I get Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I know. All right. Dr. Okachigalozi, thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you.